This is the Lepus. Um, it's a great design, it's very compact, it has a very high rate of fire if you get a higher RPM motor. It's got a towel magazine compatible pull detent grip. It is 3D printed though, so it can give you some hiccups if you don't use it correctly. When you first get your Lepus, make sure nothing is broken. When you install your battery, make sure that none of the wires are in the way of the pusher or of the flywheels. Unpack your battery, and then it says do not pull, but you can pull it gently. Remove the tags and the wrapping on the battery. And then I like to install the battery in this orientation with the balance charger plug on this side, and then the actual power plug wrap around a couple times and then tuck to the side of the mag well like this. So that way none of the wires are in the way of any mechanism. And then it should rev when you pull the bottom trigger. The wheel should be spinning this way. And then it should fire when you pull the top trigger. Looks good. So then put your cover back on, put your thumb screw on. Always pull the bottom trigger, and let the wheels get up to speed. Make a good noise with the wheels before pulling the top trigger. If you pull the top trigger too soon, then you'll be pushing a dart into the flywheels before they're spinning enough, and you could get a dart jammed in your flywheels and end up blowing up your blaster. Pull the bottom trigger, then the top trigger. When I first fired this one, I got, I got like three or four round bursts, and then it would stop. And that's because the 18 round mag, the spring isn't weak enough to keep up with the rate of fire, and the handle is a bit tight. So it squeezed the body of the mag, causing the follower to jam. Well, you make sure you're using your mags, your mags fit well, and that your follower can keep up with the rate of fire. The number one issue with the Lepis not feeding is usually because of the mags or darts. If you ever do get a jammed dart, it's possible that it could burn out your motors, like I said earlier. So you want to make sure that if you pull the trigger and nothing happens, stop immediately. Release the triggers and it should stop revving. If ever it doesn't fire, then stop revving. Don't keep trying. First, pull out your magazine. See if it was a jammed dart or there's a dart stuck in your, in your cage. In this instance, it jammed because I pulled the mag down. I didn't have the mag inserted all the way. The mag inserted all the way, you're good. So if your mag isn't in all the way, it won't fire. Make sure your magazine does not have a dart that's crooked. That could cause a jam. Things to look out for if you ever do get a problem and something does explode on you, it won't actually explode. It'll just overheat or the wires will melt and then you won't have power to your wheels anymore. But if you jam the wheels and you try to rev it, it'll want to draw a lot of current from the battery, but the wires are not ready for that. So their wires will burn out. That's okay because it's better to have your wires burn out than your motors because the motors are a lot more expensive. So then you could just cut off your old wires and solder in new wires. If the wires don't burn out, then your switches might burn out. In which case, you need to replace the switch. If you load too many mags, your darts will have too much pressure on the pusher, and the pusher won't have enough torque to push the darts through. So just use a 15 round mag, maybe an 18 round, but um, don't try to cram 20 rounds into your 15 round mag because you have too much force on the pusher. You have to have the cover on and the thumb screw in. The cover helps align the pusher, keep everything in place. We have a Lepis here that we built for testing that's fired thousands of rounds with hundreds of different people and it has not had a problem yet. And if you are just loading your magazine right into Lepis, you shouldn't have any jams or any problems.